Bitches.net. You know who it is? It's a motherfucking wax. Lil Bond, Conflict, Pyrex, Live in the motherfucking flesh. Sickness.net. And and I don't know if people can understand it or not. It's not that, it's not that I I'm not looking for um, publicity or nothing like that, man. It's, it's ain't no, I don't I don't publicity stuff. I'm not with the shit like that. I'm with that other shit, man. But as far as the beef shit go, I just stand for something, man. You know, and I'm a man. I have beliefs and certain values I was raised on, and I would stand by those. I live and die by those things. And that's one thing about me. I'm not going. I'm not gonna waver on my beliefs. I, I tried to, it, it was a business relationship and everything was going smooth. I was doing what I thought was necessary to make the, the, the album work out and do good. You know, I wanted to promote it and tour. I wanted to do all the necessary things to actually helped that record sell because I felt it was a real good project. Man. Like you said, we had the videos, things were in motion, we were in steps with the magazines and stuff like that. We already had uh, uh, a lot of publicity uh, gaining and, and, and momentum gaining for the album to, to do good things, but then the ball just stopped. It, it, it started with small stuff too, you know, like uh, my name, uh, how I was positioned on the cover of the Ozone when we, when we seen how the Ozone would come out. For whatever reason, he was mad that he was behind me in the picture. And that my name originally was wrote bigger than his for some reason. Well, my name's four letters and his is like six or seven, you know, so long story short, he hit Julia Beverly about it and threw a tantrum and went behind and then turned it into uh, uh, it being some bias shit, Bloods Against Crips and, and whatnot like that. This had no, absolutely no bearing on the situation. And what it really was, was he was drunk, man. The man was drunk and he was jealous. He was insecure of his bars and his rapping, you know. I, in, in all actuality, he came up with one idea for the whole record we did and all the songs we did together. And that was the one he did the chorus on, Got a Gun. And that was the one. Every other song was pretty much my idea that he got on the song with me. And things, even with all the features on the album, he didn't. He didn't reach out and get none of those connections, nothing like that. It was all done to me and my people. But then he was acting like the superstar in this situation. Like he should, he, he wanted to act like he was vice president of Bill Burn when he has no qualifications to be a vice president of motherfucking Alcoholics Anonymous. You know what I mean? Long story short, he started to feel a certain way and, and I tried to break it off civilly, you know, I, with all the shit I got going on, I definitely don't need no more back and forth shit, especially with no one like me. But man, now I've been hearing, I've been hearing that this and that, and, and, and seeing the way he took this and the route he's been going and, and the shit he's stooping to, which is basically what, what the other people stoop to, and I should have expected it from the front. He's, now he's just making up lies about me, saying I this and I that, and, He's trying to uh, smut me with my own homies even and shit. But it, it's funny to me because, you know, I, it's not like I'm, I'm not aware of what's going on. And it's like nothing new to me. People, go, yeah. People make shit up about me when they want to diss me because it ain't too much. It ain't too, too many chinks in my army, you know what I mean? I'm kind of shiny over here, so you got to pretty much make something up for the kids, you know what I mean? Guys, the situation, it isn't nothing similar to the Hustler situation. I, don't, I, I never even interacted with Hustler in any way, shape, or form like people would think out there. I, and me and Gonzo actually went to studios a couple times, shot videos together and stuff. We've been around each other's presence and stuff. My, the extent of me and Hustler's interaction has been like probably 30 seconds on three or four occasions over the last 15, 20 years. So, and not in no way, you know. I didn't never do business with Hustler. He didn't tell on me or nothing. This was just my people. Like I said, I got beliefs and I stand by them. I got people with lots of time in the feds, man. They, they, they doing 16 years and 13 years and, and numbers like this for conspiracy charges. And, and it, these are cases that tie together. And these people are calling me, telling me that he's all bad. So I'm going to stand by my people's word forever. 
And even when I did speak to AP9, I told him straight up, you know, if you, if, if you want to squash that, the fight ain't going to make that go away. I can't fist fight this motherfucking hustler and, and then uh, everything's fine again. Nah, he's still a snitch. You know what I mean? Like, you want to make this go away? I told AP, you, you relate to hustler. Call. Call. Let me know when you can get your shit on the, you can get on the phone and explain to my people. My people got cell phones and shit and affairs and shit. I ain't saying no names, but people people can call. Give me a number out. If you, got, if you can explain your case and convince my people in the feds that you didn't do that shit and you're not the person from any paperwork that was in junior high with them and whatnot and, and, and you can convince them why you only did three years for 14 kilos, then we can, if they can tell me that you're not a snitch, then I will agree with them. But there's nothing no one on earth out here can say to me to change my opinion. These are people that I know. People that I grew up with and people that I'm sure of. So why would I guess my friends who's doing time for somebody who's a rapper that I don't know? You know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm 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 stick by my people like I, like I should, like anyone would. You know, like AP9 does for Hustler. He sticks by his boy. I wouldn't expect that more. And throughout all the shit, throughout the years, if, I, if there's one thing that I do, I think is admirable about an AP9 is the fact that he will stick by his friend, you know? Even though, that, in my opinion, it's a very wrong uh, choice to stick by that one if you're not sure that he's not a rat. Because if you're not 100% sure, you're sticking your neck on the line. And then, if he does burn you and, 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 and shit like that, then what? You're just gonna be looking at him like, uh, you know? Well, whatever that is, what it is, it's water under the bridge. I'm not. I'm, I got my point across, man. My point was that my people was in the feds and they needed their story told, man. Like that, that, that's what I do through a lot of my music. I say things and make songs about jail and shit and, and relay the message from in there to out here. I'm just like the, I'm, I'm the I'm the I'm the kite. You know what I mean? I'm just flying the kite back and forth. Boom, boom, boom. Letting you know what it is. So I'm I'm relaying the message, man. Don't, if you want to get mad at me, that's fine, man. I, I get death threats every other day. It's new labels and shit, and, and there's people dick riding hustler, man. A lot of people like to dick ride different rappers, even Gonzo and shit. And be like, oh fuck, a wax, and, and and even death threats, man. Like it, it's funny to me. It's comical because the people it's coming from, I know who they are, and, and that's why it's not serious and shit. I don't, I don't have to do nothing extra or nothing. I just do with my people. We don't. Everybody know that like who I be with and shit, and I move one way. So, if you ever want to catch me, come fuck with me, you know? What, what, what do we do, you know? However it goes. But even the bullshit, man, I'm, I'm to a point now where I don't play the lean at all right now, because it's, it's for real, man. Everybody's, we doing our shit, we minding our business. I ain't on the offensive, but like, my, it, what's funny about even the hush shit is my, one of my people who went down on the case he told on was in the halfway house in Oakland with him the whole time. And my boy was like, man, he was calling me. Man, I want to get on this boy, man. I'm in here with the boy that snitched on me. But I want to go home more. You know what I mean? Like, these are the type of things me and my people deal with. My, my boy had to sit in the halfway house with that man that snitched on him and think about, what do I do? Go home to my family or get on this motherfucker? And, and he went home, man. You know, if, if, if Steve Ball, welcome home, big Steve Ball. Yeah, my Tony and Crip homies in, in them. Yeah, you know what time it is, man. But I say that just to say, you know, my people got their own shit. And, and, and my people's coming home. Some of my people's getting out the feds already and, and shit like that. And they're, they're readjusting back to their lives. And they ain't got time for this shit, man. Whatever, man. That's, that's, that's water under the bridge now. And, and it is what it is, man. If, if people want to... Uh, Support that, you know, people support that. Good luck with you, but not me and not none of my people. You know, we don't, we don't condone none of that shit. Man. I made a lot of changes in my life recently. I only smoke weed and I, I don't drink or nothing like that. I mean, I have a beer here and there, but I don't, for the most part, I don't drunk drink. I don't do no drugs besides uh, marijuana, man. I don't smoke cigarettes, none of that shit. I mean, first of all, I got I, I to gotta focus, shift back attention back to my solo career, uh, first and foremost. I got to do that. I got a couple people throwing rocks at the throne and shit, so I got to address them. I got to keep everybody at bay, make, make some examples out of a few motherfuckers and show them exactly why I am who I am. And then, and then it'll be 
you know? Things will be back where I want them, you know? I, it is what it is. I, it, it, I really do this. This is what I do. I, I rap. I am really, I really do this shit. I got a, my mixtape right now, Night for, my, Nightmare for Mail. I've got like 40 songs. I'm over 43, 44 songs done into it right now. I could make it a triple disc. I got videos on top of videos waiting for it. I want to do it up to 15 videos for just this one project. It's going to be a mixtape with a street album, and then I want to have a DVD with it, ideally. Maybe even another free mixtape just to hype it up a little bit. So, and, and it's come, It's all coming soon. I've already done the work. This ain't something I'm just blowing out there. So, I mean, this is this is already in motion. And it's gonna hurt a lot of feelings too. This one. This is this is gonna be the one where, if, yeah, if you hated me before, yeah, get ready, cause you, I'm gonna give you a reason now. All of you. A lot of people's been playing moves against me behind the scenes and, and shit and, and whatnot. And, even guys will open my eyes to how a lot of people feel about me and show me messages between certain rappers and himself and, and how they feel about me and they fake threats on my life and shit. But, you know, we don't believe that shit, man. We don't believe you. So, and since you feel like that, I'm going to really try to make you feel like that, you know? So, we, we don't get it out there with this one. Everybody should should really have, uh, get their popcorn ready and shit because I'm going to entertain the people, man, you know? Like, like the more gladiators and shit, it's a blood sport, man. We show them how this shit rock, man. Yeah, five Rex boys, though. All Rex boys, man. We deep right now. Marley Moore, Bandana, Depot, Ice Knees, we got Jay Sizzle, we got yeah, Money Muscle, man, do it moving. We, we, we just. Dirty Red, um, I'm leaving people out too, don't forgive me, even Mac Freeze, all kind of people, Baby Bandit, you know what I mean, we got a, we got a nice little squad right now and everybody's, everybody's working on the individual projects, everybody's doing team players, everyone's supporting everyone's moves together, we're working as a unit, sideways, uh, we got the sideways thing right now. So we're just building our shit, man. We're gonna focus on us. We're gonna move as a unit and, 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 and do things collectively and stick together. Black Wall Street, we got menace and different people. It's a lot of people I'm leaving out too. Not to, I'm just, I'm high right now, whatever, you know, but we got a big movement going on in Ilburn and everybody standing behind us. We got our pieces in line. We got a lot of opportunities for distribution. And, we can do what we want. I got deals on the table and opportunities, different ways I can take what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna take my time on my solo record. When I do with this mixtape and this street album, it's just gonna, it's enough that's gonna hold them over so I can take my time and do my album. In the meantime, after this mixtape, I'm, I'm gonna take a little break just to work on a solo album only and, and really put this one together and give it my all on the solo and work with my artists in the, in, the, in the meantime. So you're gonna see a lot of more collaboration albums with me and, and artists from the camp and, and whatnot as we go, as we proceed. I got Primo Joints with Marley Mall. That's a mixtape already done. It's coming out, Baby Bandit's coming out. Um, and then it just dropped one. Ice News just dropped. Every, it, the whole camp's coming out with their own individual projects right now. And basically, I'm teaching them, teaching them what I learned on my own and how I came up independently. I'm trying to teach everyone that I, I come across and, and it has something to do with Pyrex. I want to teach them what I know so they can do what I did if they, and be as bad as they want to be. You know what I mean? They can take it further than I went with it or, how, or just throw, throw it around and kick, kick it around if they want. But I'm going to give it to them you know, and let them decide what they want to do with it. Everyone's going to have the same opportunity. Sickness.net, A motherfucking wax, F dot suckers, man, in this motherfucker. Cheer. Sickness.net.